If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up, it's Xfix, welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. So the other day I made a video on how to get more long shot medals and just long shot kills in general in Black Ops 4. And that video did it really, really well. And I wanted to thank you guys for the support on that video, for checking it out. It's awesome, it helps me out a ton, and I really do appreciate it. So thank you to everyone who did check out that video. And as I was finishing up that video, I realized that, you know, there was a point where I was grinding through the headshots just to get to the long shots, which is another one that's kind of annoying in itself. The other challenge is really not that hard, honestly. Like, what, you gotta get five, like, uh, I don't even know what they're called, fury kills or, like, blood something? I don't know, where you gotta, like, you know, get five kills if you're weapon without dying. Uh, the other one's getting 50 kills with no attachments, 50 kills with six attachments. All of those didn't really matter. The only ones that really mattered were the headshots and then the long shots. And so today I decided that I wanted to make a video talking to you guys about how to get more headshots. And I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, there's really no secret recipe to getting more headshots. It's literally just focusing on getting headshots, the occasional uh, attachments that might be on some weapons, not on others, and then a few tips and stuff that I have learned as I have gone along with it. So it's not just some magic, you know, do this and everything will be a headshot, you know, because that's not going to happen. But I want to give you guys some tips, what I have been doing that I have been finding more success with, and hopefully it does help you guys out as well. I'll give you guys some ideas that I saw from other people, and then my opinions on those along with some drawbacks, because there are good things, but there's also drawbacks to this. Uh, for instance, if you're going for headshots, you're probably not going to do well in games. So if you're worried, if you are worried about your KD, then it might be better for you to just not focus so much on headshots. If you don't really care about your KD or, you know, even your win loss at times because you're going to be so focused on this, then this will be perfect for you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you guys do go on to enjoy the video and find it informative and helpful, do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video. And if you are new to the channel, first video you're watching, if you want to see more videos like these, make sure you guys do subscribe, join Team Rays, and slap those notifications on so you don't miss a single upload from me. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So obviously, the big tip, first of all, is going to be to obviously focus on getting headshots. If you have a weapon that is going to be very high accuracy, like the ICR, this is going to be super easy. Slapping grip two on the ICR made me get headshots like crazy. So attachments are a good uh, idea. Look at what attachments are available for your assault rifle. Some of them have grip two, which is perfect for just increasing the accuracy so much. It's actually pretty insane. Other weapons like the Rampart have a high caliber attachment, which gives you more damage to the head. So just look at what options you have for your specific weapon. I, I, I don't really know how I feel about that personally. The Black Ops 4 has so many attachments and different attachments for each weapon. But I guess they were trying to make each weapon feel unique. And it just makes it hard also for me to make tip videos because each weapon has their own little like niche to it. So look at what attachments you have. If there's any attachment that you feel that is personally going to help you and your playstyle out to get more headshots and put those on for me, grip two, uh, and also the high caliber, especially high caliber. There's no reason for you not to be using it if you have it available for your weapon. Use high caliber. Believe me, it's going to help you so much. So like I was saying, you want to make sure that you have the attachments that are perfect for that, the optic sight that you prefer for me. There's a lot of weapons that I'm not really great with because the accuracy is not that great. So for instance, weapons like the AK-47, or I don't even know what the official name is, but it's technically an AK-47. It has a little bit of recoil. It's not insane recoil. Even like the Rampart also has quite a bit of recoil. I try to make sure that I'm using the correct optic. So that's another thing that you want to add on top of that. So even like attachments like Grip 2, uh, you know, high caliber, that kind of stuff is awesome. But if you're using the wrong type of optic, it's really going to screw you up. For me, I always found myself using the red dot sight when it's a really accurate weapon. It's perfect because you can use it from a distance and you can use it up close. With the ICR, it, it's perfect. But if you have a weapon that has a little bit more recoil, despite the fact that there is predictive recoil now, it's still kind of hard to aim. So if you need to be zoomed in a little more for those closer encounters or from a distance, especially from a distance, don't be afraid to play around with the optic sights. I use, or I'm going to be using uh, personally once I unlock it, the holographic sight on my AK-47. And then again, like I was saying for you guys, you need to kind of experiment, find yourself uh, trying out different optics as you're leveling it up, focusing on headshots to see just which one is easier for you. You're going to find that sometimes there's an optic sight that's a little more zoomed in or a little less zoomed in, and it'll make it a lot easier for you to control your recoil. So recapping so far, we've talked about making sure you focus on headshots, 
believe me you want to do that if you go into any match and all you're doing is headshots you're going to find yourself doing a couple of things one you're going to be getting a hell of a lot more headshots if you're actively aiming for the head only and two you're probably going to lose a lot of gunfights because you're going to have a lot of people who are going to turn on you there's more health and if you're focusing on the headshots you're going to be missing quite a bit more shots as opposed to just beaming them in the chest or in the upper body so you're going to be losing a lot more gunfights you're probably going to be taking a hit to your kd this is something you kind of have to accept but you know focus on headshots use the right optic play with the different optics to see which one you feel more comfortable with the right attachments are perfect and then the final tip that i can give you guys that has been helping a little bit it honestly depends on your play style how aggressive you are and then if you are even good at it but hardcore is another really awesome mode to try to get headshots and most of the assault rifles i believe are one shot one kill so if you sneak around behind people you can actually shoot them in the head once and get headshots and it's amazing and then uh, the specialist that i actually recommend because i did recommend one for long shots which was torque for this one is actually profit now the reason i say profit is because you throw down that little electric drone and he literally just locks up and like locks someone perfectly and you can shoot him in the head and get that headshot cleanly so if you're looking for that little extra boost profit's little drone electric drone or whatever he's called is perfect for that as well easy headshots for that but that's pretty much it there's really no other secret sauce or idea that you can go into i could recommend like for instance i use my control freaks all the time uh, i don't really mean to plug them but i do use them on every single one of my controllers and i also have a scuff controller which also helps but not necessarily for headshots but if you're going for headshots i would highly recommend control freaks just because they give you a little bit more leverage and you have a, a little bit more play when you're when you're controlling and a little more precision so if you want to check those out you can i have a link down below that i will get you guys a discount on your purchases but you don't have to like i'm saying this is one of those things that personally i i use them on everything and i swear by them that they work for me but the big tips i can tell you is again aiming for heads obviously making sure that you're playing with different optics to find out which one suits you better for me i'm probably going to go with the holographic on some of the other weapons red dot sign on some of the more accurate ones like the Maddox and the icr so definitely play around with those and make sure you're using the right attachments grip to high caliber are your best friends anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys found this video informative and helpful the only other thing i can tell you guys is about your play style if you want to be more passive or aggressive if you find yourself using a weapon that is a little bit more hard to control and less accurate you might want to try to get yourself into those medium gunfights as opposed to long range ones maybe you want to rush in a little more and it'll probably lead to more deaths but if you are really 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 looking to get those headshots as fast as possible you might have to rush <laughs> honestly that's the best idea i can give you as well some like the long shot meadows was literally all just camping and waiting for people to run into the correct range and with this one it's pushing it and getting into people's faces and literally forcing the headshot get in their face and force the headshot on them so thank you guys so much for watching like i was saying if you did enjoy the video do me a huge favor and drop a like on the video it's super appreciated incredibly helpful and if you're new to the channel if you want to see even more videos like these i'm gonna have a ton more call of duty black ops 4 news info rumors tips tricks and more so make sure you guys subscribe if you are new join team rays and turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload so thank you guys so much for watching i will try to get more tip videos for you guys if you guys have any suggestions maybe you guys have also ideas on how you guys have been getting more headshots drop them in the comments below in that long shot video there's actually a ton of awesome feedback that i saw people saying hardcore was a great place for some inaccurate weapons because you get killed so fast and it's so true so if you have your own ideas what has been working for you do me a huge favor and comment it down below let's get a discussion going your best class setups for a particular weapon that you had trouble with so let me know drop them in the comment section below and if you have a suggestion for another video that i should do that you need help with tips tricks challenges and stuff let me know comment it down below and i'll do my best to make sure to get that covered so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to support the channel directly you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships you get access to early content exclusive videos and special badges that show up in all of my live streams and the comment sections of all my videos so check that out only if you're willing and able to and last but not least if you guys want to talk about anything twitter is the best place to do so i am constantly talking over there so if you want to see what i'm up to want to talk have suggestions feedback whatever go ahead and do it over there at og extras i'll have a link down below along with links on my gaming and second channel you guys have an awesome day take care i'm out peace